Hi everyone and welcome to episode 19 of my weekly planning series. I'm Charlene from So So Dressmaking. So this week I am, well this week and probably over the next few weeks I'm really going to be focusing on finishing off all my summer makes. Um, I don't actually have a lot left to do which is brilliant because I know this time last year or well the end of August last year there was still a lot of stuff that I wanted to make for summer and I just couldn't get around to doing it so then they carried on into this year and whatever so yeah this week I want to try and get as much of my I have a few pieces picked out that I want to focus on and then yeah over the next few weeks I'll just be getting all of that rounded up so the first thing I'm going to be working on this week is my Tilly and the Buttons Alexa jumpsuit so I have Got a wee bit more done last night. I managed to get the buttonholes on and attached um, my... I got the buttonholes on and I attached a wee label from Modista. Um, it says Trey Chic on it. I love these wee labels from Sally. And yeah, so last night I was really, really tired and I didn't want to do too much. I'm going to try and hack or I'm going to change the pocket on the trousers a wee bit and I didn't want to start doing that when I was tired so I got the buttonholes on, the label and I've also made the belt so that it dunks, it was quite simple so yeah, now I just need to do the trousers and get them attached so I'm going to record a wee video today of how I'm going to change the pockets or add in slightly different pockets to the jumpsuit so yeah, those are my plans before I can go on with that. Then, so then the next thing that I want to get finished off is my Pacarette dress. So this just needs, so I have the main dress done, just need to attach the sleeves Mommy, and hem it. I fall away. Yep. Okay. So all that's left with this is attach the facings, the sleeves and then hem it and that will be that one ready to go. So I'd like to try and get that finished this week too. And then my floor dress which I got cut out last week on Saturday night I think I got it cut out. Um, which is going to be in this broderie anglaise so I want to get that done as well this week. It is, as it said in my round up video yesterday I have made a slight change to the pattern this is a new one that is going to be released by um, Bella Loves Patterns and um, hopefully it'll be released soon because I really can't wait to share it with you as well I already have my tester version made and then this is the second version it's actually based on a ready to wear dress that I had seen and whenever I'd seen her samples of the pattern I just knew it would be the perfect pattern to use for this so really really excited about that one and then the other thing, if I can, if I get my Alexa and stuff finished, I'm going to start working on my ombre blouse in this tensile. So obviously this isn't really a summer make as such. This is kind of going to be like a transitional one, but it is for blog posts. So I would like to get it done pretty soon. So yeah, those are my sewing plans for this week. Then I have some of my spring summer stuff to finish off and I will grab that fabric now and show you it. So then the last sort of really really summery pieces that I want to get working on is this checked or this gingham blue gingham dead stock linen which I got from Susie at Thread Quarters and um, audience probably follow her on YouTube. She yeah had put this up for sale maybe about a month ago now just over maybe two months now nearly but yeah so this is probably going to be a shirt um more than likely going to be a shirt so I just need to decide which pattern I'm going to use and then get started on it so it's definitely going to be on my list over the next few weeks because that is definitely a summery fabric I want to one I definitely want to get using then the other two I can probably put these in like a sort of more transitional um, group but I have this green viscose linen from the Massey Fabrics which I am planning to make trousers from this is my part of my birthday present from Darren so I'm probably going to make the mod trousers by Homer and Hiles in this and I do think this will be lovely these will still be nice coming into autumn like with a 
chunky jumper or something layered on top I think it is obviously trousers can be more transitional and even though it is a brighter color I think it'd be nice to add that wee pop of color in during the darker months as well so if that and then the last one is the mind the maker urban leo in this pink and green I absolutely love this I have been all over the place by the pattern for this one I just cannot decide I have a very clear idea of what I want in my head but I'm just trying to figure out which pattern is going to be the best for doing that um, and between the um, it's between the wilder gown and by Friday pattern company and the raglan dress by trend pattern so it's going to be one of those two the trend patterns one has the sleeve that I want and the wilder gown has the sort of more neckline in the front that I want so it could end up being a mashup of the two I'm going to have to get the pattern pieces out and see will that work so yeah those are really the last of my like summer plans um yeah that's what I have on my list I do have other things like shirts and stuff that I want to do so my tropical rayon still have a wee bit of it that I'm going to make Gilbert shirt in but I'm not really gonna I obviously I do want to get around to them but these are the ones that I definitely want to get made and if I get the rest of them done then that'll be great the other ones can be sort of as I'm saying more transitional so yeah those are my plans for this week so I have four bits that I would like to get sewn and then just need to settle on either patterns or just get these ones here all cut out um, as you can see here I did get a lot of fabric this morning I am not going to show you this all now there's quite a lot here so I will probably record a fabric haul soon to show you all of that and um, sometime this week I'll get that done and yeah I have another little stack of masks to get sewn and yeah that's going to be me this week then I'm wearing my earrings today by Clay by Holly. Um, I had shown them yesterday in my round of video. I will pop the link again below to her shop. She actually released some beautiful earrings um, yesterday evening. They're like a we shell and they're kind of like sparkly. They're lovely. So yeah, I am hoping that there's going to be some of those left next week because I definitely, definitely want them. But I would definitely go check out her um, Etsy shop and I'm wearing my Fibre Mood Mindy dress which I had lengthened into like a midi length in the linen viscose from or linen rayon from Sister Mintaka. So yeah that's everything today for my plans Um, yeah that's it. Hopefully not just as busy as last week. I'm hoping things are going to be a wee bit calmer. I still have a lot of alterations and stuff to do but not just as much as what I did last week. So yeah, I will, that's everything for me today. I hope you are all having a lovely day and I will catch up with you all soon. Bye.